In this video, we're going to look at the problem with being unable to connect to the config database. And this first video here is a video I made a, a few years back, and I apologize about the quality of the uh, screencast. As you can see, we can't connect to the configuration database. And if we jump over here to the SQL box, we notice that the services are not started. We jump into the Windows Server Services Manager Service Console, and if we scroll down, we'll see that the SQL Server service and the agent are both stopped. So what we need to do is we need to get those started, and we can see there in the Config Manager that they're stopped as well. We'll go ahead and start the SQL Server service, and then we'll come down and get the agent going as well. After that happens, we'll jump back over to the Configuration Manager, and we'll refresh, and we'll see those reds change into greens. There we go and green. Cool. So let's jump back over to the SharePoint server. We'll give it a refresh and then we'll say, hey, what's our client alias? Is it the same, the right server? Because we want to make sure we're connecting to the right one, the right farm. We are. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and open Central Admin and we'll wait about maybe a second or two. This is a lab computer so it's a little slow. And after it opens, boom. SharePoint 2010 action. Okay. This next example we made today, or I made today, I should say we, me and the mouse in my pocket, uh, made, a, made this today, and it is uh, a SharePoint 2013 farm. It's also displaying the same issue with not being able to connect to the SQL Server, although it doesn't say that. It says web page cannot display the page. And this is the easy time where you can get, uh, you know, anxiety and freaking out, and, oh, maybe I'll open another one, and let me try it again, and it, it's taking forever, and you wait, and you wait, and you get the same message, and it can be very frustrating. So rather than doing that, let's just go ahead and we'll we'll go down here, and we will open up a, uh, after we stop freaking out here for a minute, uh, <laughs> we'll go down here and we'll open up a command prompt, and what we'll do is we'll see if we have a SQL Server client alias. So we're, doing, we're gonna go clientconfig.exe, and then we're gonna we're gonna see that we do actually have an alias. That's a long SQL Server name, so what we'll do is we'll copy that, and after we copy it, we'll come back over and we'll test can the SharePoint server can it reach out to the SQL Server with a ping? Can it can it talk to it? Is the SQL Server replying back? And it looks like it is. So that's good. So now can we reach the actual port that the SQL Server service is listening on, port 1433, with a telnet? And that does not look good. So we're going to jump back over to the SQL Server. And on the SQL Server, we're going to go ahead and open up the Services Console, which we've already done. And we can see right away that the SQL Server service is not started. We look in the Config Manager, and we do a little refresh there. We can see that they're all stopped, which is not a good thing. We don't like red. We're going to click on Start, and that will start the SQL Server service. We're also going to give the agent a start, and then after it's started, we'll just jump back over to the Config Manager, give another refresh, and we'll see that we have all greens, except for the browser. We're not really concerned with that one. We're going to jump back down to our SharePoint server, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can Telnet now to port 1433, and we can because Telnet opened to a blank screen. That's what Telnet does when it works, and we're going to go ahead now and try that central administration. It's a lab computer, so it is a little slow, uh, but it's uh, opening there. So here we are. Central admin appears to be open, and we're going to try and see. Can we see some web applications? Yep. So clearly we're not having the cannot connect problem anymore. Looks like services are started on here. We're about to have a very great SharePoint day. And with that, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I hope you enjoyed it.